Oh do. Let's just do that intro. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever the fluff you are. This is going to be a different one for me. This is not rugby. This is football. I've been to quite a few of the games, but none like this. Wigan Athletic at home to Bolton Wanderers in the second round of the Carabao Caribou League Cup, Football Cup, FA Cup, well not FA Cup, but you know, Challenge Cup, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, this is that. I am seated pretty close to where I was the other day. By the way, I will address uh, what's gone on with those vlogs in a little moment since I've had to uh, take those three down for uh, copywriting and legal reasons. Mostly being you cannot film action that goes on the pitch. So unfortunately, any other vlogs I do, you'll be putting up with my visog, my ugly mug. But just to sum up about that uh, game the other day, uh, I won a game that was a moider. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, today is uh, definitely going to be um, something totally uh, different. Tomorrow night as well will probably be the same, well, will be the same format as what this is coming as too. Bolton, being about what, 15 miles or so away from us. Natural, Great Manchester <laughs> rivals, obviously. Obviously going to be major rivals, being in the uh, same metropolitan catchment area, effectively. So there is going to be uh, a bit of a rivalry there, and a little bit of a spat going on as well. So yeah, there's probably going to be quite a lot of name calling and all sorts of shite going on throughout this game because of how close it is. But it is very early season. And it's going to be a bit of a, just say, a bit of a um, wrestling strength test between the two squads. But you never know. Anyway, don't even know what this is going to be called at the end of the day. Might be all the ticks, Phoenix Rising. Might just go randoms. I do not know. Anyway, this time I haven't got the uh, fox top on. This time I'm in my uh, zombie hunter stuff. Got all my zombie hunting stuff on. As you will. Since I've also got those in my ear and all. But you never know. Anyway, see you inside. All seats are unreserved. So I've ended up getting a little patch just where the riser is, where everyone comes up into the stands. So it's a bit of a bad spot. It's about four and a half thousand, four thousand seven hundred volt fans over to my left, making a heck of a rocket. We're in uncharted territories, guys. This is unusual for me. I don't normally vlog here, develop a football. Rugby, yes, football, no. But as you can hear, they're making quite a nice noise. Which, after all of those times where no one thought this one was going to be alive, it's good to see them and they're going to go to It's good to see two trouble clubs in the past having an early arm wrestle. Now, as I alluded to earlier, we don't know if this is going to be something like that. You never know, the rugby season's coming to an end. We don't know what Warriors are going to do. It's there for the hot cold. Uh, with Latix not doing too bad on the other side. And uh, yeah, anyone that knows anything about Wigan, they have won the FA Cup in 2013. They have had eight or so years in the Premier League before they won that as well. They haven't won the Premier League, but they did win the FA Cup. It's nice. As I've said in the warming, I cannot film any action on the field. So, unfortunately, you do have to do it by a little bit. But hey, you will find out. So I do have the bars behind the bars. So, I will be back with you if there is any action going on. My thoughts and things like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Stadium. 
bike later. Good 10 minutes up. Yeah. Yeah. Good 9 minutes and 40 odd. The pretty close. Both of my chances are. Both are a little bit ahead on the chances here. It's definitely cagey and it's definitely a bit of a good challenge. A few possible moments where the ref was a little bit soft and something, but then again, they wouldn't be really able Obviously, my point of view here, so it isn't exactly all that brilliant, you know. Both of them have had a few throw ins and a couple of big kicks. Bolton's done a corner a minute ago and a couple of scrubs on that one as well, but it's kind of got deflected in the box. As I just watch a ball come from Jilts, who, for a keeper, have a few people in the past have said it's a bit uh, shaky, it's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I would love to show you what's going on right now, but I just can't. I don't want to risk the channel. I'm doing there's well a Bolton fan, Bolton player right now. So, yeah. This is, as I said earlier, this is a grudge match. This is a bit of a war zone. Not in a rugby sense, in a football sense, but it's still a war zone. Anyway, back into the goal or another contentious moment. Just that close to getting a goal then. But it has been quite contentious again for the past, what, 12 minutes. Bolton could have scored twice, we almost scored there. With another contentious moment, with another tackle that may or may not have been a little bit of play act, I'd say. Twice, twice now, Bolton have had the free kick from what people around me are feeling is a bit of a, let's say, trying to trick the ref, which, to be honest, it's part of the game when you want to try and get one up on your opponent. But you never know how it's going to play out. It's so far, not actually that bad. Play good fair. Give me some kind of insult. Not too bad either way around. Anyway, so we'll see. Still no score yet, but it has been close again. Bolton have had a few chances, we're going to have a few chances. One of the Wigan players went down with a slight knock to the head, but it wasn't all that much to be honest. Right on the, right on the touch. There's a Bolton player down at the moment, which might be possibly overstretched. Can't see who it is, but then again, I can't read names on back of shirts. Because, well, I don't want, I don't have my glasses on it too. I'm blind as a bloody bat. Yeah, this is actually for what is basically supposed to be a bloodbath derby. This isn't too bad. But, you know, you never know what it's going to be called. To be honest, a few people whilst I was on the way in thought this is probably going to end up in penalties. You never know. Um, I think Bolton won their last game, league game. I know we get won their last game 2-0 so this is going to be a bit fun and we just go and throw in there but we'll quickly change it to the back no, deflected by yeah we haven't really challenged the keeper technically neither of but there was like a few people around me who were having to wonder is why they pass back a bit too much I know it helps with the stats and stuff for the possession Sometimes when we've been having a chance, we've got a great ball, we just haven't, which to be honest, maybe if we did, like, you know, push forward a little bit, just press on, that might help, but we never know. Also, Bolton at the moment has been masses of clock, clock matches as well, which some people around me are calling for time wasting, but coming from someone who knows a bit about American football, that is clock match. Basically, they just kicked it wide. So, here we go. Anyway. I'll probably be back with you at half time just to give you a half time summer. <laughs> just done the run that I've obviously football can't have a pint of beer out here so I've got a pint of cola. Well not quite a pint but you know what? A bottle of cola in the uh Blackie Cups. Still nil nil. That was very very uh, 
quite a good contest that's going on in the moment for that. So I've got, I've got a slightly better view of when Bolton are now going to be raiding up towards my right, towards the south stand where there is no fans in. It's a little bit weird. Last time I've been in here and there wasn't fans in our stand was uh, way back when, before all the Rona mess kicked off. And that was when um, the uh, Wolfpack were in. And that was the away stand at that time that was empty. So that was a bit, uh, a bit of fun. There was quite a bit of a melee. I think it's four yellows for Wigan, one or maybe two yellows for Bolton. I wasn't fully aware of that one because I couldn't fully see it as the person was sort of in front of me. But I think. I think it's four to one on the yellow cards. The chance that squeaked by for us was by James McLean or McLean, however you want to say it. Which, to go to one words, has been going on quite a bit. And if he'd have scored, that would have been a punchline to the game. So we're going to know going to be attacking towards Bolton. Bolton are going to be attacking towards what is now just a vacuum of space. Once that kicks off in the second half, it's the uh, moment is still nil nil. So I don't know how it can go. Uh, yeah, it's anything can happen in this game because it's basically there's a chance it could go all the way to hell. Yeah, it would be Murat would be amazing to watch, but I don't want to do that. I don't think I could stand it. I really don't. All right, yeah, heroic four in uh, pens. The other round, the first round, uh, where they beat home. That was amazing. Yes, I was here a couple of days ago, about a week or so ago, uh, to watch uh, you know, Latix versus Rotherham. I did have footage with that one, but that one got wiped because it all messed up on here. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, the second half will have a little bit more in the way of goals. Hopefully, it will be able to play. But at times, Bolton were the dominant force in this game. So, it was quite, quite close. He's very close and I am battling the PA in here. Yeah. Eventually it is gonna kick off. Hopefully it doesn't actually kick off kick off. And we just have a decent game. You never know. Whoever wins them, there is a possibility it could be a bit of Um I'm stupid, I'm not that stupid. Here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get behind the boys in the second one. And up comes the lights. So, who are we going to fare this time? Before Wigan were attacking to my right, Bolton were attacking to their fans to my left. This time it's all swap. We will see how the second half goes. Anyway, back when there's more action. We're going to get a free kick just on the edge of the box here. From my point as well, some of the Bolton fans have taken a hoarding off from one of the disabled bays. This is um, going to be fun to see how this one plays out. Taking the ball, second chance. But that was some of the inventive play coming along. There's some inventive play coming out there. Not too bad, but obviously the world of the stadium is done from the wall with this had an arch roof. The sound is funny. So you technically need to have most of the sites in here quite to full to balance out the way. And there was a bit of a tackle going on there. One of the bone plays is down. I don't know whether he's holding his back or whether it's his leg. It's like his knee. He might have just took a bit of a crack to the knee while they were uh, both in motion. Hey, this is, this is football. And by the way, yes, again, as I keep saying, this is a major rivalry for uh, Greater Manchester, or the outer Greater Manchester rivalry. Because this is kind of like, you know, 
to close the show. Right? It is like, you know, and that is from both places. Let's see if we can get something early. And we're back again with more action and goes. The bolt we've got a front kick on the side one. We'll call it 60 minutes gone, call it 59, 47. The bolt we've got a free kick after what was a bit of a 50-50 moment. Let's see this goes because I've got a good view of this back from where i Again, over everyone's head. Good moment, but could have taken more of it out from Bolton perspective. For them lot, they could have taken more out of that one. It just went over everyone's heads. Not doing too badly. Still nil-nil. 30 minutes left to go. Yeah, this is probably going to end up I don't really want to make predictions at the, the moment because this is probably going to end up Whoever gets it. Possibly in the last 10 minutes, someone just races to stab him or. Well, I did forget to do well, the half time bit. It was a free kick, which was just outside the bigger box, which could maybe have changed the game that Bolton had had, but didn't quite. And Gibbs got the ball and we did all the last time. We just need to make sure we put it in the box now. Cross into the box, come on. Just go down chance. No. Just one out of control. At least we're, at least we're making progress, at least we're giving you chances. At least we are making chances. We're a team that really at the start of the season only ever had, to be honest, before the season kicked off, six full time players, the rest of them were all youth squads and threes and pickups. So they are still technically getting used to each other's play style, but they're doing well. It isn't doing too bad in here either. I don't want to say that I think the quality is pulling on. I think it's going to be upper 10, 10 plus at least. We've got four, four and a half, maybe more thousand of them. Easy six or seven thousand more. I get thanks in here the way it is. So yeah, you never know. Anyway, back again one more action, guys. We could have a free kick on their edge, the box. Had about two or three chances to get something into the box. Please get in there and you might not quite do it then. Maybe we can do something now. A little comical moment with the uh, con guy messing up with whoever was coming off or whoever was in the subs. I don't know, but there was something there. So we'll see. Is this going to go in now or what? Right into the keeper's grasp. Fizzle. They've got a bit of a run on us now. All we have to do is box them out. I'm watching it right now. Just be defensively minded in that box, all you're going to do. stayed in. As far as I could see, they stayed in. It might have been a micro out, but hey, whatever. Thumbs to the brakes. That was close. Well, that's how quickly you can break away from one end to the other. Oh! Anyway, back in a minute. Might as well play this one in the Wigan corner. What? Seven minutes left of the game. This could be the one. Oh, 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 oh. Bit of a bit of a question on what's going on now. Get up, please. Players are in the mood. 
don't know what was going on there, there was a bit of a scrum, a bit of a scrumash. Players all over each other, but then again, in the last couple of minutes, any advantage to take anything like that. Just on to the team. I'm going to get another break around here. A couple minutes ago, all right, we can get to it. Never know. But as I've mentioned a few times, it's starting to get to that time now where it could be that last goal wins. Well, whoever scores wins. It's looking that way, it's feeling that way. Players are all over each other. It's basically whoever can get the advantage right now. Whoever gets the advantage could possibly win this. Are we going to pens? Are we? So pretty good. This is going to get interesting. Last five minutes of the game. Yeah, it was. James will be playing off for John Lewis. This is getting into interesting territory. Pretty much like it was once I was here against Rotherham. The last second goal. Can we do it again? Fingers crossed we don't have to wait for the last second or that we don't have to go into pens. Hopefully we can just do it in normal time. Yes. Oh, Bolton could have had a breakaway. Just about managed to pen them. Anyway. Again, whenever any action happens. Just into the three minutes added time now. This is starting to get last half. This is getting real close. Real close, real tasty. Still not even said what the official attendance is. Cola. Wish it was a beer, but hey. Hey, whatever. This is just going end to end now. This is literally just getting into end with everything. Anyway, we're going to have fans out, watch this one, so put this up. Put it, put things down below what you think of your views, well, things like that from your angles. That one, I didn't hear the same thing, so just jumping here. The Bolton player was there, whether that was. Uh, that was tired and so long now, but hey. Anyway, since you're on my knee, since you're on my knee, I'll just let you ride along with this. Long shot. You can just about see the rugby hash marks. Just basically the keeper on his toes. This is like every advantage now, any way to get an advantage in this game. Every, every kick, every tackle is now getting to a point where you need something more. So this is getting quite tight. So, sorry if I don't pay attention to you. Just spoon the wide. Just spoon the way from being able to have another player in that one. So I'll let you ride along and see it to time's over. You can hear the atmosphere, but... Oh, yeah, right. It's your time's over. 
So this will be my quick moment, run down, take a toilet break, get back. Penalties. Well, we did not want it to happen, but we're going to pens. So I will not be. Uh, I'll just be watching the pens, and then I will talk after the pens are done. Oh, my God. Yeah, one on pens. I think it ended up like, you know, five, five, four, I think, on pens. It was a, well, we missed. Well, not missed, but Bolton could have done it. But the winner was the Bolton player, whoever it was who took it. Uh, he skied it. He skied it. <laughs> Our keeper smashed it one right into it. Right into the onion bag and got it. So that's Latix into the third round. God, they ended up taking the pens all the way to the uh, neutral zone, which is the uh, south stand, I believe, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, I was in the west, so I think, I believe it was the south stand, really. I'm still getting used to the uh, geography of this place. But yes, that was, that was intense and amazing. I think Latics are at home again on Saturday, I believe. Don't know if I'm coming back or not. I might be. Hopefully I will be. If I can sort out the uh, tickets and stuff and sort out what I'm doing over the weekend. But in 24 hours, well, in less than 24 hours, I am back in there for Warriors versus Leeds. Rhinos, which in this new format, or should they be going back to the old format of how it was, which is just all on my face again. But hey, we will uh, see how that goes. That was, as I've said throughout all the clips, that was um, quite a close game, quite a lot of good scraps going on, a lot of uh, back and forth between players and everything like that. Both teams had chances to take it. Yeah, they could have had a chance to. Bolton could have had multiple chances there to, to take it and put it put it away, but it just didn't quite didn't quite fizz that way. And uh, two times now, round one and round two, they've done it in pens. They did it at Hull and they did it here against Bolton. Now then, how is it? How is it gonna go? How's it gonna go? Who are we gonna get next? I know the old joke is bring on City, but to be honest, I don't want I don't want City per personally. I mean, I don't want City until later. I don't want City until later. That's all I'm saying. You know. Oh. It's a game where if you don't take your chances, you don't play it away, and with no extra time in the League Cup and night falling <sighs> dive into pens but that was spectacular but yeah overall great atmosphere not a bad game anyway Bolton fans Wigan fans whoever neutrals if you find this stick your views down below because I know a few people are probably watching this on telly or watching highlights probably later on or whatever, whatever your thoughts are, stick them down below. Give me some ideas for some names on this as well, because this is probably going to be the pilot of whatever name, like enter name here is, whether it be up the ticks, Phoenix Rising, whatever. You know, I need some, I need some input for names, because obviously uh, rugby stuff. I've got bleeding cherry and white, so stick your ideas down below. If you want to help this channel grow, and slap. That sub button is always helpful. Give that sub button a black eye. Smash it like you were Tyson Fury. Go on. Or should that be Eddie All? Smash it. Murderalize that sub button. Murderalize that like button. Bang your comments down below. And that has been me, Foxstar1387, signing out after a game I didn't think was going to go to pens. Ciao!